11.54 right now. Oh, Not quite late. midnight. <laughs> no, it's late. <laughs> You're still up late All right, young man. <laughs> Hurry up so you can get you to bed. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just over kidding. there yawning at the weather center. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, guys, let's talk about this forecast, okay, because it was absolutely beautiful today. I cannot say it enough. It was a stunner out across northeast Ohio. This is something that we should not be experiencing, but we'll take it because we know what's coming behind the fall season. So we got to wait on that. Stable, clear, mild conditions expected overnight tonight. High pressure continues for tomorrow. Frankly, for the most part on Tuesday as well, as we start to get some late clouds coming in Tuesday night, heading in towards Wednesday, where rain showers will be likely. As the kids say, we're likely going to flip the script there as fall is going to be returning for Thursday, Friday of this week. But we're already got some 40s popping up across the map. 47 degrees you can see there in Worcester, 50 down in Millersburg, 47 for our friends over in Chardon, pair of fives you can see there for Jefferson and even Asheville at this hour, 54 for Elyria. Here's where we're going to go overnight tonight. We're not going to be as cool as we have been for the past couple nights. We'll still be hanging out in the mid to low 50s across the region. Even those 40s you can see popping up there. But this is a break from what we were doing during last week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're dealing with those early kisses of uh, snowfall across the region. Lake effect snow bands even included in that as well. Thursday, we started to kind of turn the tide a little bit and we really, really gunned it on Friday, coming close to 70 degrees. The Climate Prediction Center is really trying to forecast some pretty nice conditions over at least over the first few days or the first week or so of November with above average conditions, but we're not going to necessarily hang our hat on that as of right now. This is kind of just painting with a very, very broad stroke of what we can expect for the first few days of November. As far as the forecast is concerned, this is what's coming for us. It's still over towards the northern plains at this hour. It's not moving too terribly fast. This is why we got Monday and Tuesday to kind of cool our jets before we really start to turn things on in terms of rainfall. We got a, a cold front coming in here and it's already producing some snow showers back towards uh, Montana. That's going to progress eastward. We're not going to be dealing with snow showers once it gets into the Buckeye State, but we will be dealing with colder conditions. We got temperatures right now, at least overnight tonight, will likely be hanging out in the mid to upper 40s. You can see there tomorrow, we're going to make it back up into the upper 70s across the region, and then thereafter, we're likely going to be in the mid to low 70s as well for Tuesday. Widespread 70s for tomorrow, the days after that, as we prepare ourselves for Wednesday, rain will be likely. We got a really large band coming in here. By the time we get to Wednesday, we're going to wrap around that area low, bring in that cold air and that trough, and we're really going to settle things down. As you can see here in your home work, it's 10 day outlook. By the time we get to Thursday, Friday of this week, we'll be pretty much okay, but some chance rain showers could be likely by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday of next weekend. All right. Thanks so much, Jason.